Dead On with Randy Ulmer. Ever since we started shooting string loops about 25 years ago, there's been a constant debate about what the exact right length is for a string loop. And really for me, I think it's most important to have the string loop that's just the right length to make the bow fit you. The only problem you can get into is if you have a string loop that's too short. And that's especially true if you do one of the following four things. First, if you use a stiff string loop material, it makes it easier to torque the string when you're at full draw. The second thing is, if you tie serving material inside your loop, it creates geometry that makes it easier to torque the string, again, at full draw. Thirdly, if your release head isn't positioned perpendicular to the bowstring, if it twists the loop at all, it's going to torque the bowstring when you're at full draw. And lastly, a really short loop makes it easier to torque the bowstring. And like I've said, all these things can create or exacerbate torque on the bowstring at full draw. And the higher the bow's let off, the more it'll affect your consistency. One nice thing about using a string loop as opposed to hooking your release directly to the string is you can change the length of your string loop depending on the type of bow you're shooting. If you're shooting a really short axle to axle length bow and you still want to touch the string to your nose and you want to maintain the same anchor point, what you can do is shorten your string loop. And conversely, if you want to shoot a long axle to axle length bow, you can lengthen the string loop and it's going to allow you to use the same form. Remember, Never change your form to fit the bow. Always change the bow to fit your form. And just for the record, when I'm hunting, I usually use like a 5 8 to 3 quarter inch string loop.